Have you ever watched a video and thought, dang, I wish I could color grade like that? Well, did you know that you can match any look in Premiere Pro? Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Corey from CNUS Media and today we're gonna to talk a little bit about color grading. We're gonna dive into a feature in Premiere Pro that will let you color match any reference frame that you have all within a few clicks. Let's jump into it. In Premiere Pro, import your clip and your reference frame from whatever color grade you're trying to match onto your sequence. Make sure they're beside each other on your timeline. Next, you'll wanna to go to the Lumetri color panel and under the color wheels and match tab, you can find the color match feature, which will help you match your clip's color to the reference frame that you chose. Make sure the original clip is selected and hit the comparison view option. This will open up in your program window and display two images. One side is your original clip and the other side will be your reference frame. The reference frame has a sliding bar that can scrub through your whole sequence to find the frame that you want to match your clip to. Again, make sure your original clip is selected and hit the apply match button once you find the frame you want to match the clip to. Premiere will analyze the clip and automatically apply the grade onto your clip by adjusting the shadows, midtones, and highlights. You can close this by toggling off the comparison view. This isn't 100% perfect match, but it is a great base to start building off of. You can manually adjust everything to help dial in the look even more, playing around with the shadows, midtones, and highlights. You can also further adjust the look by using the basic corrections tab and adjusting whatever you need to help solidify the look. Not only is this a great tool for taking certain videos color grades, but it is also really helpful for when you have a multi-camera setup and maybe one camera is not set up the same as the other camera, so it'll really help keep the consistency with all your cameras in your final edit. If you learned anything new from today's tutorial, please like, comment, and subscribe as I'll be releasing new videos in the near future. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.